Off with uh, a headline from Zero Hedge. It's yeah. pretty hot, hot headline. U.S. military now is authorized to kill Americans on U.S. soil. Mm. That's mm. that can't be possible. Yeah. This would open up the door for the careless uh, use and if more frequent and legal. It'll yeah. be legal now, so nobody will have to worry about that. Send in the troops. We need you to shoot a couple of these people. Yeah. They, they, they're they opposing our policies. They're demonstrating against COVID rules. There's something they'll come up with. So I think it's very, very dangerous. Uh, so here it is. Now, Zero Hedge picked it up from Armageddon Pros, which is a, uh, which is a substack which they often run. Uh, it says, uh, U.S. military now authorized to kill Americans on U.S. soil? Just ahead, intriguingly, of November elections, and that was my second thought, the military has granted itself permission to unleash, unleash lethal force on the civilian population. Again, I thought this has got to be an exaggeration. So uh, I went and looked, and actually go to the next one, because this, this explains what it is. Now, it's not a law. It's a DOD directive. So this is, you know, the whole, the administrative state where they take over. They don't pass laws. They are laws unto themselves. Go to the next one if you can, because this is what they're talking about. And I went and I read this secondly, and it talks about a reissued DOD directive that was reissued just on September 27th, 2024. It governs the Department of Defense intelligence activities and now includes provisions authorizing lethal, lethal force in circum certain circumstances. And it supplants the 2016 version, which did not mention that. So I read all of this too, which is someone else's analysis. I said, okay, this sounds even more troubling. I wanna go look at the document itself. And so go to the next one. I actually went and looked at the DOD directive. It's DOD directive 5240.01. Now go to the next one. I'm just gonna get to this really quick so I can, just so people, this is on their own website. Now this is section three of that directive assistance to law enforcement agencies and other civil authorities. Now go to the next one. Now this is levels of authority. This is section 3.3. Defense intelligence components may provide personnel to assist a federal department or agency, including a federal law enforcement agency or a state or local law enforcement agency when lives are in danger in response to such a request for such assistance in accordance with the following approval authorities. Now here are the authorities. I, I'm sorry to get so far into the woods here, but go to the next one. Responding with assets with potential for lethality, and I underline this, I, I highlighted it, or any situation where it is reasonably foreseeable that providing the requested assistance may involve the use of force that is likely to result in lethal force including death or serious bodily injury. I'm sorry to bog the discussion down with that, Dr. Ball, but I really wanted to hone in on this is their actual document. It's yeah. not just someone's analysis.